All right, we are back with no money spent, and we are getting shit done today. You can see the orders are already going through. We're going to go ahead and open our packs, though, before we get into anything. So let's get this. Or anything to do I already have them. It's a shame. Hopefully, we can get a few silvers here that we don't own. Regular season, pretty sure we get a silver. Yup. Already have them. No shame. All-star, I don't even think we get a... Oh, we do. We already own them. Son of a bitch. Already own them. Yeah, because we already have these teams done. But the Diamondbacks, we do not have done. So this can actually be huge for us. There's one new guy. There's another new guy. All right. If I can get one more new guy here, I'm happy. All right, nice. We did. Uh, let's go ahead and take this. Quick sell for 1,000. Let's go ahead and take this. Quick sell for 1,000. And we'll take this real quick and figure out... Which one's the most expensive? 7,500. All right, take the quick sell, and then we'll open our packs here. We got eight packs, two bonds, and a headliner. We get a gold. Sean Doolittle, I already have him. All right. Silver, Colton Wong, I already have him. Six more. Jonathan VR, I already have him. My God. Give me some new cards. Michael Kimmins, I already have him. Jesus. Already have that guy too. Oh, sorry. I got something up in the top left there. Um, just ignore that. That's nothing. Ah, fuck it. I'll say it. It's something for a new series. All right. I don't know if it's really out yet at this point. It probably is. So that's why I'm just not caring. And I'll say it. Okay. That's a thousand stubs off that stuff. And no Syndergaard. We already have him. Okay. Decent amount of stubs there though. Uh, we'll open the headliner pack. Where the fuck did I get this? Set 5. I have no clue where I got that from. Yo, Makata, already have him. My god. We're at least guaranteed two golds. At least two... Are you fucking kidding me? Okay. What are you gonna give me? Imagine. Another Noah Syndergaard. My god. Alright, so. Let's head on over to collections. Head on over to live series. Now, if we check the Boston Red Sox, we have Chris Sale. If we check the Indians... We have Jose Ramirez and Lindor. We check the Braves. We have Acuna, not Freddie Freeman. I did put in a buy order for him, too. Damn it, dude. I think the guy who just had the order above me sold. Oh, that's stupid. Uh, if we go to the Cubs, we have Javi Baez. If we go to the Brewers, we have Hader and uh, Yelich. If we go to the Cardinals, we have yet to get Flaherty. 5301, that is irritating. And then if we go to the Diamondbacks, we have Cattell Marte. So, you're catching on here. We got pretty much, we got every diamond. <laughs> AKA, it's time to get motherfucking Mickey Mantle. Yep, that's right. We're getting Mickey Mantle. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and buy these ones that are basically done. And then I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to buy the rest of these cards. We don't got many collections left to do. Might as well just get them over with. Considering the subs we'll get from completing the collections, I think we'll be fine. We'll probably even walk out with profit. So, we're good. Alright, so let's complete this real quick. I'll just show everything. I won't pause or anything. There's no point. Uh, just because it's going to be done pretty quickly. There's really no point in skipping any of it. Whew. He was, he was a bit, he was a bit, he was a bit pricey. But we're fine, we're fine. We won't have the free agents done, though, of course, but they don't really come into getting Mickey Mantle. be pretty stupid if they did. So after we get Mickey Mantle, though, that means we can start keeping cards. Uh, the only reason we were selling pretty much every card before was because we were trying to get Mickey Mantle, but now that we have them, we can actually hold on to shit, which is huge. That is really good. Because now we can keep bosses if we want to. We can sell whatever cards we want. We can buy whatever cards we want. So it's really, it's set up perfect for us now. Um, I put in buy orders for them, but I did not put in buy orders for the, this guy. 1450. Let's put in 1500. 1500. And then we'll put in buy orders for even some of the silvers. 
Oh wow, okay. Let's do 175, I don't want to jump up 48 stubs. Let's do 155. And we'll do 155 again. Indians, we need a few golds here. 1700. And then once we get up to these teams, if their buy orders aren't done, we'll just go ahead and take them off and then buy them straight up. But that's by the time we get to the team, and they'll most likely be done at that point. Alright, we got Brad Hand now. Now if we go to the Red Sox, I think we only need... Yeah, we only need one gold. Which is pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and put in Alex Verdugo. Really fucking hate that this guy ain't with the Dodgers anymore. We better get Mookie Betts back, man. Because if we don't get Mookie Betts back... And he ends up going to like the Red Sox. And then we end up losing out on Alex Verdugo... And Mookie Betts. Oh my god. We will have been fucking defeated. The NL West is now done. So we get 4,000 subs out of that. And we get this 93 Tony Gwen. So that's pretty good. Jack Flaherty still. Okay. Fuck it. We'll take the 700 stub hit. I didn't end up putting a buy order in for him. So we'll just buy him straight up. And there we go. All right. Brewers now. Didn't put in any buyers for the silvers here either. So we have to buy them all straight up. Level 80. I think we just got a high diamond pack. If I remember correctly. Which is pretty good. So open that too. After we do all this. Probably also get to level 85 at least. I'm seeing I'm seeing maybe 85 or 90. Once we get Mickey Mantle. It's fucking nuts though. We got Mickey Mantle. No money spent now. It's big. It's awesome, dude. And we got a trout on packs only. Oh. Shit's getting nuts. The, bronze, the high bronzes and silvers are really expensive on the Brewers. Alright, we still got the Cubs. I don't even think we did the Cubs for the Silvers. Wait, do we own every Silver? Oh, we do. Alright. And then all that. We get to level 82 out of that. And then we can go to the NL Central. And we can get our hands on Willie Stargell. Alright. Now we get, just got to do the NL East, which is completing the Braves. We get another 4,000 subs. And then we complete the NL. And we get Gary Sheffield. This is fucking solid.
Like Faulty knew it. He never went through. Neither did Cole Hamels. All right. And Ozzy Albies didn't yaw either. We'll take the small hit. We're about to come out with pretty big profit anyway. We get Ryan Kolesko out of that. Complete the NL East. We get Mike Schmidt. And then we complete the NL in general. We get 10,000 subs and 12,000 XP. That's getting us to 85 just like that. That's just for completing the NL. Then we still get to complete the AL. And then we still get to complete the fucking entire thing. My god. XP, man. We're almost going to get the gold off this alone. It's nuts. Usually, I don't complete this all at once, but we kind of just got ourselves in a situation where I was like, I'm kind of sitting here with a decent amount of stubs, and everybody's cheap. So, fuck it. Let's just do it. Why not? I was waiting for something to be like, I was actually saving up packs and stuff on No Money Spent to try and make it an eventful episode, but then I realized I can get Mickey Mantle, so it's going to be eventful even if we don't have many packs. So after this, we can start buying any cards we want to. Uh, I'm probably going to go buy a few things I need for innings. Maybe a few all-stars and stuff like that. I don't know. Maybe I'll do that. I'm not sure. I'll figure it out. All right, there we go. That is the Indians done. We got 88 Cody Allen from that. And we need... Okay, so that's the AL Central done. So that's another 4,000 stubs. My god, we're going to end up with all of our stubs back. What the fuck? I think we legitimately are. We're actually going to... I spent like 65k. We're going to end up with probably a bit more than that. Wow. Okay. I'll fucking take that. Red Sox have called me Q? I didn't even know that. Huh. I thought you were still in the Astros. Alright, hand all that in. We get to level 87, almost 88. Get the AL East. We get to 88. And all in to the AL. We get to 89. And then we're probably going to get to like level 91 out of this. Yup. And we're at 75k. So now we have Mickey Mantle. We got a bunch of these to open. We got a Gold Legacy. We got a Classics pack. Okay. We're actually probably going to take Future Star because I do need that. I'll figure that out. Alright. We'll open all these real quick. Get them out of the way. I wish there was a little collection you could do if you had all legacy cards, because really there's, they have like no, because they don't have a thing, right? Yeah, no, they don't, which is kind of lame. I'll take Aaron Judge, I like him. It's like, I feel like once you get all three, you should get something, but you don't. It's stupid. So we already have this guy. Do I need breakouts, veterans, or rookies for any collection in the future programs? I think here you need all stars. Yeah, and we don't have an all-star to get from that. In fourth inning, you needed rookies and future stars. Okay, so I'll take any rookies I don't have. And any future stars, which I don't think there is any in here. So we don't have a rookie. Bob, there we go. And I'm pretty sure we do not have either of these guys. So we'll take Alex Reyes. Let's head on over to the lineup. First base, Willie Stargell. He ain't making it over Giambi. Right field, Gary Sheffield. Left field. Uh, you know what? We'll put, we'll put Trout in left. No, we'll do this. And we'll put Mickey Mantle in center. Third base, Mike Schmidt. Kind of a good guy to platoon with Eddie, that's for sure. Shortstop, um, Craig Biggio. Do we put him behind the plate or do we put him at second? P. 
Piazza is kind of raking. I, I think we should stick him at second. Anybody here kind of struggling? 333. Zero. Okay, you're done. Uh, he's doing pretty good. He's doing decent. He's got two home runs while he's got three. But he's got that six at bats. He's got that in very few amount of bats. So I'm probably going to take Reggie out over him. Put in Mike Schmidt. I'm kind of just putting in guys that work with this lineup. Guys that actually do really good. Alright. The rotation. I don't think we get an upgrade there. The bullpen would probably get upgrades. Lefty over Chapman. Yeah. Yeah. Over Chapman for sure. Uh, Adam on a veto I really do not like. So I'll even, even though Cody Allen's got some pretty, you know, he's, just, he's like, eh. I'm still going to use him over, over that guy for sure. In fact, it becomes our highest overall for our righties. All right, so all of a sudden we have Sheffield in life left, Mantle in center, Biggio at second, and then we have our pen improved. We're looking pretty good, and we're sitting here with a fat 75,000 stubs. I ain't doing this. Fuck it, I Get out of here. Get out of here with that shit. I got to figure out what I want to buy. I'll be right back. I'm going to kind of, I'm going to figure out what I want to buy. I actually just realized that I can do this now, which I should probably make it so I don't lock in guys that are sellable because I don't have to. At least I don't have to lock in one guy that's sellable. So I'll leave Gossage because um, he's going for 2600 He's going for more than Chipper. So I'll do that. We get that done. That gives us 20 points. In fact, I'm pretty sure that now gives us... That in fact just gives us this too now. Um... Do you want anybody from this pack? I guess I'll keep whoever. Why not? Uh, I'll take Jose Alvarado. I like him the most out of all these three cards. So we'll take Jose Alvarado. He's not going to be added to the pen over anybody. But we'll keep him because I'm going to start keeping cards now. Uh, I don't see why not. Just in case, you know, a Wagner collection comes by. I need to be ready for that. So I should probably actually just focus on collecting some cards here that I can get my hands on for cheap and complete these because it's going to come. I think it is and I want to be prepared. I definitely want to be prepared, but I also want to collect some nice cards. Jesus, that card's still going for 50k. So I want to pick up some cheap guys that I can get my hands on and not really focus on guys that are insanely expensive. So like Mazeroski, only 5,700. He's only 5k. So I'm going to go around, buy some cards that I can get for cheap to finish these things that I don't have finished. So, yeah, we'll do that. Although, here's the problem, right? Like, is Players League going to be involved? Is Prospects, Future Stars, is that shit going to be involved? That'd be stupid. Because you got to collect 30 of these guys. you got to collect 60 of these guys. There's no way. There's no way they're going to do it like that. Maybe that's why Set 3 is on the market. Oh, that'd be fucking ridiculous, huh? If that's why it's on the market. Holy shit, I hope not. Alright, we'll be right back. I'm going to at least complete probably these three. I'll at least do that. Alright, we are able to get the All-Stars done. Just because that was pretty much already done. Or it was done. Because we had to do the one part. And then the rookies, we actually also have done. But are we locking somebody in who's like... Oh, we're locking in a guy who's 6,200. Oh, we don't have to though. We just lock in Mark Pryor instead. We don't have to lock in Hershiser. We don't have to even lock in Milky Betts. We don't even have to lock in Biggio. We can just lock in all these non-sellable guys and keep those sellable guys just in case we ever need to scratch for some stubs. And in the postseason, I got two orders. Or sorry, three orders waiting to come through. Now two. Uh, Mariano Rivera at 5,100 and then David Price at 1,650. So that's being done. I'm debating on if I want to buy some cards, maybe, just to upgrade the team. I could do that. I could probably go around looking at uh, looking at pieces. Because I'm, I'm sitting at 70 k now. I could be looking at guys. I don't know. I might. So, like, one thing. Like, who's our lowest overall, right? It's our pen, to be fair. Our pen is technically our lowest. This is a really low point in our, uh, in our, in our, in our team. But I think I want to upgrade these two guys. I don't think I want Jake Begrom or Max Scherzer in the rotation. So I'll be I'll, I'll go look. I'll go look and see what I find. 
All right, so I decided to put in a buy order for Mike Scott and Brett Saberhagen, a 97 and a 99 overall. I feel like these two could be pretty good, and I feel like they're pretty big upgrades. These are kind of cars I've just never used, so I'm curious to see how they are. I'm curious to see if they're good. I'm, I just want to try them out. Why not? Um, next thing I probably want to do is, yeah, upgrade the pen. So I'll go look at pen pieces and see if there's anybody out there I haven't seen or remember. I'll check. All right, so I put a buy order in for 92 Fernando Rodney and 90 Rich Gossage. I feel like those are, these are two pretty good pickups. Uh, both really cheap, which is what I'm looking for. And both 90 pluses, which are both huge upgrades because we don't even have a 90 overall in our pen for righties. So our, our righties definitely need to be upgraded, and we definitely got that out of that. Now we're just going to go look at a buy or guys around 25K because I think that they're... Request will be around that. So like Don Mattingly, 98 overall for first, left, and right. That's pretty good. Fred McGriff, Catfish Hunter. Dwight Evans could swing. It could put him in right. Hmm. Not a card I've ever used. Could definitely try him out. Paul Canerco, Tim Salmon. He can also play right. Andrew McCutcheon. Uh, Dante Bichette, Luis Patino, Michael Brantley. Paul Molitor, never tried him out. Hmm, Alec Bohm, a card I truly fucking miss, I'm not gonna lie. Miggy, Eddie Murray. There's a lot of cards here I've never tried, and I'm curious. I'm curious to try them out. I don't know. There's that Brian Dozier. It's not bad. Huh. I don't know, I kind of want to, like, maybe put in, like, Joe Carter. Get that prestige, I don't know. Maybe. I'm not I'm not hundred percent on that. I'm leaning actually towards this Dwight Evans. He's a pretty nice card. And he's only twenty K. Only twenty K for that card. That's a ninety eight beast of a card. I don't know, man. He's a card I've never tried, and that's kinda what I'm looking for at the moment. Just looking for cards I've never used that I want to put in. Like the first card I can say I've never used is Don Mattingly. Uh, but my first baseman, oh, it's only Jason Giambi. We could just try out Mattingly. Honestly, first guy I see that I have stubs for, I'm cutting it down. See if he's at all good. He's only 10k. You know what? Fuck it, boys. I'm feeling different. Now that we have stubs, now that we have Matt or now that we have Mantle, we don't really gotta worry about none of this shit anymore. I'm, I'm just gonna put in by orders, guys, and we're gonna have fucking fun. We're going to have some fun on No Money Spent. We're going to be collecting cards. We're going to be getting stubs all the time. Yeah, I'm down. I'm down. All right. We're going to wait for these buy orders to come through. And then I'll probably play a game tomorrow and keep it in this recording. But just because it's getting late tonight, I'm probably not going to do it tonight. So I'm going to leave these buy orders overnight and see what happens. But uh, you guys, that's going to do it for now. For this part, I guess it's going to cut right to all the orders done and everything like that but yeah i'll see you when all that's done peace all right the orders went through so let's go improve this team onto what we have to improve so don mattingly we're gonna put him at first base um do we have a new shortstop we do not i don't think we have any third baseman or catcher we do not i think it's just don mattingly we got for the offense giambi uh, we only have righties besides one lefty, so we're going to take Gary out and put in, uh, Jason Giambi. So that we have two good lefty hitters against righties. Although, one-on-one -on -one power against righties really isn't that good. We could go with, like, a Willie Stargell. Well, he's 100, so it's really not that much better. So we'll stick with that. So we got Jason Giambi, Derek Dietrich, Carlos Correa, Nolan Arenado, and Mike Schmidt. We head on over to the rotation. Mike Scott's already in here because his order went through pretty quickly. Uh, Brett Saberhagen's now in the rotation, so we now have a 99, a 99, a 97, and a 98, and then a 94. And then we can go ahead and improve the bullpen here by adding Fernando Rodney and Rich Gossage, which are two top-tier bullpen arms for us now, which is huge. And then I'm pretty sure we got, we did not get a lefty, but we did get, uh... We did get Mariano Rivera just recently here, and I'm going to put him in over Hector Neris just because Hector Neris really isn't as good. He's got a splitter four-seam and a two-seam. I could put in Keith Folk, but I still prefer, prefer Rivera over him. 
And then we got Josh Hader, Sean Doolittle, and Billy Wagner for the lefties. So this is what the team looks like. Now we're going to head on over to collections because I think I forgot to go to prestige. Yeah, I did. And I forgot to collect them. All right, we'll do that real quick. Get everything you get from all this. So we're getting a few extra stubs from collecting these guys. Already get up to 10,000 stubs. I could collect Mattingly, but I'm not sure if I'm good with him yet. So I'm just going to hold back on on uh, on locking him in. But if he is good and we do go with him, I'll definitely consider locking him in. Why not? I don't see why not. But you guys, that is going to do it for the video. We're not going to do any gameplay today simply because we've already done so much in this video. We're already pushing or maybe over 30 minutes just from doing this shit. We did so much today. So, yeah, guys, that's going to do it for the video. I'll see you in the next one. Hit the thumbs up button if you did enjoy. Subscribe more content like this. 90, over 90% 90 of you guys that are watching this video are not subscribed. So, be sure to subscribe. It helps the, it helps the channel a lot. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out.